What's going on, Misfit Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Misfit Wrestling Podcast. I am your host, Matt, the Misfit, for your AEW Collision, July the 29th, 2023, Saturday night, here on a Saturday night, rather. Uh, we got Collision, really good episode of Collision. Uh, sorry for my for not doing uh, Dynamite and uh, all the other stuff that just happened last night. Smackdown, I can't, long week. <laughs> uh, but I need some time to refresh Get ready for some juices flowing here, uh, because next weekend is Summer Slam. So I gotta, I gotta get mentally prepare for that show, um, and I'll go over the predictions of that show on the SmackDown stream next this by the next Friday, this coming Friday, whatever. Whatever. So I'll get my predictions then. I won't be able to do it on uh, Sundays next Sunday's podcast because Smack, uh, not SmackDown, whatever show that it was. That just is happening. SummerSlam will be taking place the day before. Uh, I will be missing Collision, so I'll be talking about Collision on Sunday's podcast, th- our next Sunday's podcast, rather. So uh, that's what happens there. I guess some other news I'm going to go. It is for me. Uh, some exciting ideas I have floating around for another channel that I'm going to talk about in just a little bit here. But before you do that, please hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe on the YouTube.com slash at Misfit Wrestling Podcast. Follow the social medias at Misfit Podcast TV on Twitter.x. We're not calling it that. Uh, the uh, Instagram at Misfit Wrestling Pod and on Thread to Misfit Wrestling Pod. The other audio outlet, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or Stitcher, whatever you want to call it, Audible, and Pandora. So, uh, let's get over Collision here. Collision, I thought was a really decent episode. Actually, I thought it was a really good episode. Uh, I thought this week's Collision was a little bit better than last week's Collision. I don't know what it was about last week. I just didn't like. Uh, but, I don't know. Just something about last week's show I didn't really like. Outside of maybe, uh, uh, Max Castro getting his knee brutalized in with Buddy Matthews. And speaking of Buddy Matthews, he and Andrade El Idolo. Opened the show in a ladder match. This match was awesome. So, match started. Uh, Matthews going for the kick. Misses, chops across the chest to Matthews by Andrade. Then Buddy Matthews does it uh, to Andrade El Idolo himself. Uh, Matthews then gives Idolo a boot to the face. Andrade goes to goes up a ladder, kicks Matthews. Uh, uh, didn't go very well there. Uh, they're both up at the top ladder. Oh, actually, no, Andrade's on the top ladder. By the way, all this is happening on the outside, by the, by the way. I should point that out here. Uh, he does what Moonsault does, Andrade, off the ladder onto Buddy Matthews. Both men are still on the outside. Andrade slams Matthews' uh, head onto the ring apron. Uh, Andrade brings the ladder in. Both men are now in the ring. Matthews kicks uh, Andrade. Then Andrade throws him into a ladder. Andrade then hits two suplexes, uh, yeah, suplexes, uh, superplexes, suplexes rather, to Buddy Matthews, uh, stops him from doing the third uh, suplex, then goes, then gives, uh, then Andrade rather, gives him a, uh, a dives and dive, drives him to, Andrade drives Buddy Matthews into the ladder as well, I've tried to say, tongue twister tied there, and for some reason that's what it was there. Matthews throws the ladder at Andrade. He hits the ground, does Andrade. Buddy Matthews sets up a ladder on the out, uh, sets up a ladder and is outside the ring. Matthews begin, is beginning, is, is be, being examined by the doctors. Apparently, he did hurt some part of his shoulder and he looked like he popped it back into place, which was nasty. Uh, and then they go to a picture in picture. Uh, Andrade is out of the ring there, lying on the floor. Uh, Matt, uh, Buddy Matthews uh, has his shoulder popped back into in, uh, in this place by Doc Sampson, which is something I just mentioned here. Uh, Buddy Matthews sets a ladder on the ring annou- uh, announce on the announce to the he sets he sets a ladder into the from the announce table to the ring. Andrade. Uh, slaps him, but uh, gets thrown into the ladder, or on, you know, into the ladder, rather. 
Uh, they are on the ring apron is Andrade and Buddy Matthews. Matthews goes for a power bomb, misses uh, back elbow to to Matthews from Andrade. Forearm shots back and forth. Andrade is on the outside of the ring still. Uh, Matthews gets back up, big, joins him on the outside of the ring, uh, ring apron rather. Uh, Andrade chops him and DDTs him into the ladder, which looked nasty. Uh, though uh, Andrade hurt himself more than he did Buddy Matthews. Uh, Buddy then uh, drived Andrade's skull into the table, the announce table rather. Uh, he grabs a ladder, goes up for the mask because he put it up in the center of the ring, goes for the mask Andrade. Uh, gets up, lifts the ladder, tips it over. Matthews is is now is is now done for a, a good portion of the match. Andrade goes to the outside, climbs uh, the outside ladder that was set up earlier and on. Matthews starts climbing, sunset flip power bomb to Buddy Matthews onto the the bri- the ladder that was wedged between the ring apron and the ladder itself. Matthews. Uh, Grab some handcuffs, handcuffs Andrade's ar- uh, hand to the ring, but gets free after Matthews kicks, or he kicks Matthews, uh, and Julia Hart drops the key. Matthews gets handcuffed now, uh, ha- now has the key, does Andrade, and, and he sh- uh, Julia Hart tries to jump, stop Andrade from climbing, uh, which didn't go very well. Matthews was able to break free with the uh, with bolt cutters. Uh, they start punching each other. Andrade then pushes him off the ladder, uh, uh, while Julia Hart's on still on top of him. Uh, goes she goes to the other side. She gets pushed from the ladder and into Buddy Matthews, which is set into a table that was set up at the corner. And Andrade pulls down the mask to get the win here. Very fun opening uh, match here between Andrade, El Idolo, and Buddy Matthews. Uh, this feud is not over, obviously, because he's still got to go through Malachi Black. Who knows when that match is going to take place, I'm going to assume. And the match save for, like, all in or all out. Because uh, there's no way they're going to do that match for free on, pay- on, on free television. And then we go to Miro, who is with Tony Schiavone before... Miro gets to talk about what happened last week. As last week, prior to his match, uh, Miro was attacked by Nick Camarado. Uh, but here, Aaron Solo uh, gets, uh, is attacking uh, Miro. And the referee cuts away. Another referee. The camera cuts away after Miro yells Shivani's name. Darby Allen comes out next. He's going to be having a match in action. Uh, uh, and it comes to find out he is going one-on-one with Minoru Suzuki from New Japan Pro Wrestling, which, nice surprise here. I didn't see that coming. Um, and Darby Allen cuts off Kazanina Rae, which got a lot of boos. Uh, and that's, I mean, if you want to find a way to boo Darby Allen more, that's how you do it. Um, but, uh, Darby, uh, biting the skull of Minoru Suzuki, then kicks him in, uh, kicks at him off a chair that, you know, I guess, uh, Suzuki was on. The belt rings as there to get into the ring here. Darby Allen gets a two count after going for a pinfall. Darby keeps, uh, striking Suzuki until Suzuki knocks him down, uh, he then puts him in the, um, the, I guess he tried to put him in the chokehold, but didn't get him get very well. Uh, Darby Allen gets thrown into the corner. Uh, Zuki kicks uh, uh, Darby into the in the corner, then rips at him for uh, quite a bit, rips at the bandages on Darby's, I guess, Darby's shoulder or whatever. Uh, they go to a commercial break. Didn't that commercial break didn't last very long? But when they come back, uh, Suzuki is co- uh, it's hanging. Uh, Darby by his bandages uh, from the ring apron, which looked nasty. But that's Murdoch Iron Paul for you. Darby t- 
tries to tries for rub. He didn't get. He doesn't get it. Suzuki knocks him to the ground after uh, back and forth chops here to get the power slaps going on here. Uh, uh, he then uh, Suzuki then mocks Darby Allen and puts him puts his hands behind his back. Darby gets some offense in, then gets a two count, a, a sleeper hold applied to Darby Allen. Didn't get didn't get all of it here. I then tried to go for the gut style power driver. Didn't go out go for there. Uh, Suzuki gets get is getting ready to get hit by the coffin drop, but mid but Suzuki was able to get hit, reverse it into a sleeper hold, which looked beautiful. But Suzuki fell for the Shayna Baszler trap. Uh, and I've dubbed it the Shayna Baszler trap as, as every time she would put somebody in the game. Pri- I'm assuming when Vince was still running the show, every time he she would get somebody in the care for the clutch, they would roll her up and she wouldn't let go of the hold. That's usually how that works here, but Darby Allen gets a win here. Quick match. Quick, fun little match here. Nice to see Minoru Suzuki on your TV screen. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I, I love seeing Minoru Suzuki wrestle whenever I can, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Minoru Suzuki, by the way, who's not in the G1 Climax, so that's why he was allowed to be in here. Christian then appeared on the screen after the match, making fun of Darby Allen, says that he that things have changed since he's held the belt. Uh, he tells him that he's going to send him back to the mall, hot topic, or wherever the hell he came from. Uh, and that's how that works here. Uh, we got a promo airing for the AEW Women's Championship match, which for, for some odd fucking reason is not happening at all out. Or all in, rather. Tony Storm defending against Hikaru Shida. That, if, if I'm AEW, I'm putting the title on Hikaru Shida. Don't give a fuck what anybody else says. I love Tony Storm. But this current run of Tony Storms is not fucking doing it for me. And it's not my fault. It's not anyone else's fault that uh, Jamie Hayter is injured and they had to stop the storyline of what they were doing. Pull an audible. Call an audible and just put the title on Io on, 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 on Shirai. We'll talk about Io Shirai on the podcast tomorrow. But uh, on Hikaru Shida. Samoa Joe basically made real quick work of gravity. Uh, gravity didn't forget Samoa Joe, but Samoa Joe don't care about gravity. Um, muscle buster for the win. Nothing really right home to about, about that entire match here. Next up, you have CM Punk. He comes out here. Uh, he, uh, so he stops and lets the crowd chant. Uh, he says that, uh, you just got to Hartford in two hours. He goes, a punk then starts going on uh, and on about people not wanting to th- talk about things. Says that he's the first wrestler to speak a while about uh, Wembley Stadium. Says that uh, maybe he might know by the end of the night who he, if he's going to be wrestling at All In. He says that Ricky Starks is the reason for what's in the bag. Calls out uh, Starks. Starks doesn't show up. Oh, he says he finally he, then he starts. He shows people it's in the bag, and it's the AEW World Championship with his name on it. He says that this he is the real world champion, the crowd boos. He says no one pinned him for the championship. No one made him submit. His blood is still on the title when he beat John Moxley last in September. He puts an X on the symbol of the title, which is very interesting they did that. Uh, he says that he's straight edge. We mean That means he's better than you, which is a... Uh, uh, seeing uh, an MJF uh, dig it there says that the title belongs on collision and it's stolen and isn't stolen is what he said unlike his catchphrase Ricky Starks comes up grabs the mic tells Punk that he deserves a shot he deserves that tile that is on his shoulder he calls himself the face of collision says uh, Punk says that it sounds like Ricky wants a title shot uh, Tony Punk says if he faces him again he wants a special referee, and uh, and Starks tells him that he doesn't have any friends. They agree to have the match next week in Dino or not Dynamite Collision, and then the referee is going to be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat from CM Punk's past. One of, I guess Punk, I guess Punk had Ricky Starks. Uh, I guess I uh, officiate one of Punk's matches in the Ring of Honor. Who knows there. Uh, then we had trios match here. 
Bullet Club Gold, uh, which is uh, Juice Robinson, Austin, and Colton Gunn defeated Action Andrade, Darius Martin, and uh, 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 Vikingo. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy here. A very fast-paced match, though, but uh, the guns hit the 3 uh, 10 on Yuma to get the win here. Yuma? Yuma wasn't even in the match. What am I talking about here? Now, anyways. <laughs> I don't know why Yuma's listed here. Anyways. Uh, post-match to celebrate with a cardboard cutout with, of Jay White. Where Jay White was this week, I don't know. Kara Hogan defeated... Oh, no, Kara Hogan uh, lost to Mercedes Martinez. Quick match here. Uh, nothing too special here about that here. But post-match, uh, she still has the submission lock on her, the, the, the sleeper that she had that's on here. Uh, Chris Dantler comes out, helps to Kara Hogan while she isn't paying attention. Uh, Mercedes, not Mercedes, yeah, Mercedes Martinez blindsides her with the t- uh, for the title. Uh, basically saying she's coming for the championship. Uh, Willow Nightingale comes out to help him, and that's how that thing ended here. Main event time. FTR defeated MJF and Adam Cole. This match was fantastic. Uh, I probably am not going to go through all of the spots here in this match here, uh, but uh, at one point here, uh, we had a pump kick to Wheeler Yuta. I said it again. I did. I've done this multiple times now. Wheeler Cash Wheeler. He he needed to go back to the other name. Dash Wilder. At least I at least I can remember that. But every time I say Wheeler U, Cash Wheeler in my notes, I call him Wheeler Yuta. So uh, fucking. The I wish WWE didn't have a stranglehold on fucking uh, ring names. By the way, anywho, uh, high cross body is Adam Cole by Jack Harwood. Woo, sorry for the for the yawn. Uh, super kick to to Harwood and Cole gets a two count by Adam because uh, Cole hit that the 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 uh, super kick obviously. Uh, one point, Cole is on the top rope, but Dex Harwood and Cash Wheeler hit a diving uh, body splash. Uh, Cole kicks out. MJF is in. He gets he goes back and forth with some elbows. Chops next. Thumb to the eyes. MJF gets a two count. A uh, 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 slingshot to MJF. MJF was able to get kick, kick out there. Harwood is uh, trapped in between the ropes. Uh, he gets hit low blow by uh, MJF, the old school Dustin Rhodes uh, thing. I forgot what that, I forgot what he called. He calls it Shattered Dreams. That's what it was. Um, super kick to Cash Wheeler. MJF saves Cole from a shatter machine. Uh, he gets rolled up, and FTR retain the titles here. After the match, uh, Adam Cole. Shakes hands with MJF. Looks like they're going to tease MJF uh, attacking. Cole with the title didn't. Uh, it seems like they're going to save this this blow up between MJF and Adam Cole for Dynamite. Uh, because I think the AEW world title is going to be defended at all. And I think it's going to be MJF and Adam Cole. Uh, but that was Collision. Collision, like I said, decent. You know, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Nothing too bad. Like monstrous on here. If I, there were things I would go back to watch on here, it would be the main event and the opening match. Uh, I maybe throw in uh, uh, Minoru Suzuki as well because, like I said, tonight it's great to see Minoru Suzuki here. Uh, I don't know what's next for Samoa Joe. Um, I guess they're gonna save the whole thing with Punk after the CM Punk after Punk is done with Ricky Starks. Um, I think that's it there. Uh, I may be Darby Allen is now going to be a, on, on TNT more. Who knows? Or not on TNT. He may be on Collision more. Who knows? Going forward. Uh, nice to see Mercedes Martinez back here. Uh, she is no longer going after the Ring of Honor. She is no longer going after the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, it looks like. i uh, love to see Athena back on AEW television, though. Um, but, yeah. Um, I think MJ, I think... 
FTR are going to lose the tag titles to uh, Jay White and Juice Robinson at all, and so that's why I think it's going to happen here. But yeah, uh, this is a really short episode of uh, Collision here. I just want to get something up on the channel, uh, you know, so I can have something to make it seem like I was not, you know. So, um, but but tomorrow we got the pile driver pulse where I'm going to go quickly over dynamite and I'm probably going to, uh, I'll talk a little bit about rampage and SmackDown. I got to go over SmackDown because there's some interesting things that happened on SmackDown that I want to talk about here. Also, we're going to go over the new standings for the G1 climax and the five star Grand Prix because the, uh, the, I get, what was it? We had night three of the five star Grand Prix take place early this morning. They filmed it, uh, which will be up on Stardom World in a couple days. And also, I got some sad news regarding the five star Grand Prix and Saya Kamatani. I will talk about that as well as uh, I will talk about. Let's see what else am I going to talk about on that show here? Oh, I got to go over some of the big news ideas here. Uh, actually, I'm going to talk about that right now. So, on. Um, so I have a I have a like a WWE 2K universe mode channel that I created. I want to say how long ago was that created? Let me look. Let me do some, let me do a live search here so I can. I say when when I'm gonna point out when I'm the first one went up here. I wanna I wanna I wanna go all the way here. Let's go to the oldest video. So five years ago, back in 2017, the channel's been up since like 2015, but I didn't start uploading to this channel until 2017. Um, uh, so if you've noticed, dead or day on the channel, if you go to type in WWE, or WWE, not WWE, WAW Wrestling 2K, and it'll come up with the channel uh, WWE, or WWE, WAW Wrestling WWE 2K22, I need to change it to 2K23, but, uh, so I do, like, a universal mode thing of some sort here, so, uh, if you notice the newest video that was released yesterday or the day before was the SummerSlam opening, because we got a SummerSlam show coming up on August the 20, August the 13th, I want to say, um, but something I did talk about, and I did put it in the community tab here, and I said, uh, hey, so many of you, so you have, uh, may, so you may have seen the opening to the SummerSlam show that I put, that was posted last night, even though this was, so it was actually Thursday when I posted it. Uh, well, I have some rather exciting news to share with you guys in the coming days regarding pay-per-views uh, uh, days but regarding the pay-per-views don't worry they aren't going anywhere but it is something I, I want you guys to look out for so I'm going to announce this here uh, back in 2020 uh, a group of my friends and I put together a show called Rebellion uh, we, ha we only had four episodes uh, unfortunately because for whatever reason we all went our separate ways. I haven't heard from these guys in three years. Uh, they kind of ghosted me is what they did here. And I didn't appreciate it. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be bringing back that show called Rebellion. A week, it was supposed to be a weekly show uh, where we build from pay-per-views here. So sometime starting after SummerSlam of that show, that, that SummerSlam show, uh, I will be bringing back rebellion uh weekly uh hopefully that's my plan uh going forward and that is what i have planned for the foreseeable future of this 2k23 game uh now that i've got it on pc i can do things like with modded characters uh, and you know you can like if you watched uh if you watch them to the two wrestlemania matches that we uploaded El Desperado, Starlight Kid versus Shingo Takagi and Micah. You'll notice that those, those uh, modded graphics in there. 
uh, and uh, characters. The ring announcer calls them Shingo Takagi and all that stuff. Same thing with the ladder match that's on there, which is Io Shirai, Mayu Iwatani, Shayna Baszler, Jamie Hayter, Tam Nakano, and Tony Storm. Tony Storm on here is actually a modded character. It's not the real Tony Storm. So, or no, no, Tony Storm is in 2K22. What am I, what am I fucking talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, that is coming up. I'll talk more about that. Uh, in the coming days, uh, right now, uh, I am looking for a commentary team, a new commentary team. I just need a lead announcer and a play-by-play announcer. Um, I don't care if you guys uh, are good. Well, I do care if you guys are, are, are good at, at, at the, the, the idea. Um, but... If you guys can, like, if you guys, if there's anybody interested, just let me know. If you, all the way can uh, find this out. If you guys are interested, just go to the YouTube channel under the community tab. If you wanted to put in the comments there on that, you can do that on the WAW. I'll put the link to the WAW uh, uh, YouTube channel under the description the, in this in this video. For the collision review on YouTube, uh, so you can find it there, and you go to the community tab and comment underneath there. Or if you want to, I have to, uh, I have a post up on Twitter, Misfit Wrestling Pod, or Misfit Wrestling uh, Misfit Podcast TV. You can do all that stuff there. Uh, but that's all I wanted to talk about here tonight. I will, tomorrow I will talk about the G1 Climax, the Five Star Grand Prix, SmackDown, Dynamite, Rampage. Um, I don't know. There might be some other news. I got some Jamie Hader news. I'll go through on that uh, and whatnot. Until then, I've been Matt the Misfit. This has been the Mister Wrestling Podcast. I'm not editing most of this show. I'm sorry because uh, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so sorry if the, if the show sounds kind of wacky. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow for Pile Driver Pulse. We're out.